What's up? Today we're going to be doing some questions with Patrick and Riley and me. What's the first question? Well, uh, what topic would we like to do? We have relationships, personal well-being, future tough topics, and fun and random. Me personally, I think I relate to relationships the most. Uh, I think I go with tough. <laughs> yeah, tough. I, I'm not, yeah. Here you go. All right, Easton. Which teacher do you feel most comfortable talking to and why? You had, to, you had the question. Yeah, you, you answer it first. But I asked, so you go now. No, you read the question, you answer it first. Uh, Ms. Bixler, because she's a good teacher and she's fun to be around. Great answer. Um, I would either say... Mrs. Johnson or Mrs. Bixler because they, or Mr. Salmon actually, because he always tells us that if we ever need anything to come and talk to him. And he's just a good teacher. I'd have to say Mr. Salmon too because I've been around him a lot with him coaching my sports and stuff like that. So. Next question now. Let's go with. Fun and random. Fun and random. What's been your favorite age so far and why? Um, 13 because uh, it was a good year for sports and I had a lot of fun with my family that year and that age. So yeah, that had to be my answer. What, what age were you if you were in fourth grade? All right, well, I'm going to say fourth grade because I don't remember how old I was in fourth grade. But um, I would say it was fourth grade because, you know, no worries in the world. Sports were awesome. Recess. And Mrs. Taylor was our teacher. But most of all, we were online and didn't have to go to school because of COVID. I would say... I have no idea, honestly. All of my ages. Fun. What topic now? Let's do tough topics. Tough topic. What color is that? Purple. All right, Patrick. You want to read this one? No, I'm all right. All right, I got it. Is it easy for you to ask for help? No. It's not easy because uh, usually you want to do things yourself. And I feel like if I do something myself, I'd be better at it, so. Uh, no, not really, I guess. <laughs> I would say it depends on what I'm asking help with and who I'm asking it to. Do the future? Future? Yeah. What does your ideal life look like in the future? Ideal, so like? Um, NFL player for NFL wide receiver, actually. Uh, for any team, really. I just want to be sports. That's where I want to stay, so. Uh, you know, having a nice house, having a good job that pays well, and, you know. I would say a family, a house, and hopefully a sports, um, something to do with sports, like a commentator or something like that. All right. You pick just random. What would stop you from asking for help when you need it? Um, my cockiness, because I think I can do everything myself. And that would be ideal for me to do it myself. Um, being embarrassed about what I'm asking help with or for. That's what I'll say, too. I was going to say that. So. Let's do fun and random. All right, we're doing fun and random again. Do you like selling, celebrating your birthday? Why or why not? Yes, because I get to see my family. Uh, I would say yes, because I get to see friends and family and 
have a good time? I would say yes because we just get to hang out, have a good old time. Future. We're doing future again. How much do you think your school grades will matter in the future? I don't think they'll matter, not even a little bit. Because, like, we're, he we're just here for a while to learn, but I don't know if that'll be any anything to do in the future. I think it matters a lot because I want to go to a good college and want to have a good job and not be poor and homeless when I'm older. I would say my grades matter a lot too because I would also like to have a nice job and go to a nice school and get a so you know get some scholarship scholarships for having good grades coming out of high school so. We're doing tough topics. What is one regret that you have? Why do you regret it? I don't know. I don't know what my regret is. This is a weird question. I think we're going to skip this one. Roll back to the random. That is a weird question. What was the funniest thing that happened to you this week or last week? Um. When I tripped and fell in the hallway, and it was kind of funny for people to watch and laugh at. Um, let me keep thinking. You go. Devin throwing a magazine at Easton and getting in trouble. That is a great one. That happened. Just happened twenty minutes ago. Twenty if minutes ago. I would agree with that one. It didn't hurt that bad, but. School magazine, school property, done for. <laughs> Let's go future. Hit him with the future. Are we listening to future ones? What do you daydream about? Going back to sleep. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. I can't see my other answers. So um, I would have to say, like, probably going to sleep, I don't know, or basketball, you know. Fortnite, the good old days. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> We're going to go with fun That's a good topic. Yep. What would a perfect day look like for you? Um, no school and just being ho be able to sit at home and play video games all day. <laughs> I would say going to watch a NBA game or an NFL game and staying in a hotel and hanging out with friends. That is a great answer, I would say. Going to an NBA game and going to different places and traveling and getting lit. <laughs> Future? Nope. We're going to go tough topics. Change it up here. Tough topics. All right. How would you respond if someone asked you to lie for them? I'd lie for them, uh, if they're my friend at least, because you're trying to keep my friend out of trouble and, um, yeah, keep them out of trouble. Um, this is a tough, tough question. If it was for Devin and Ander, you know, I I might try a little bit. You know, if it was the cops, I don't want to be in too much trouble. Let's just keep there. It depends who I would be lying to because if I'm lying to the cops, I wouldn't lie to them. But like, if uh, I don't know, just something small, maybe you know, mm -hmm. the use. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't want to, you know, snitch if they were cheating on a test or anything. What's one subject you wish you could learn about? Taxes. They don't teach us this in school. <laughs> when you're a senior. Boom. But I have a job, so what? What I teach me now? Um, fine. Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> I would say I would want to learn how to, like, invest and save my money a little bit or, like, good ways to get money, I guess. I wish they included driver's ed when, like, last year, so then I didn't have to take that, like, outside of school, and I wish they would have just put that in our education. Yeah. New question. Let's try, let's try relationships again. What do you think are the biggest dent differences? All right, can't do that one. Why? Because it's a difference in generations and we're all in the same generation. In generations? What do you think our neighbors? What do you think about our neighbors? Are those relationships important to you? Goofy out question. New one. Just <laughs> find a new one. The relationship isn't working. Oh, when was the last time you argued with a friend? What happened? Uh, I argued with Johnny, and I called him a monkey, so I almost got detention for that. <laughs> Cut that out. Give us a new answer. <laughs> um, I told Mr. Justin I was to slap Johnny because <laughs> I felt like it. And Johnny didn't, Johnny didn't like that. Upset. Um, you know, I'd say 25 minutes here now. Me and Devin, you know, the youth. We didn't really argue, but... I don't know. It's chill. Uh, about an hour ago, I told Devin to be quiet in English class because he was uh, distracting me. So, you know. Yep. What do you think future generations will think about how we live today? It might be different because everything's already going all electric, so they don't know what it'd be like, like with gas and oil and all of that. I think that there will never be all electric cars because gas is like making, you know, the money. But um, I think that they will think that we have cars that look old. Like, I think that there's cool old cars, and my kids will think that. I had a cool old car. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go with that. That was a good answer. Tough topics. Ooh, tough topics. Let me read it, you said? Yeah, you got it. Oh, no, this is personal well-being, sorry. What is something that you passionately believe in? I'll go last. I don't know. Thank you. God and God. Uh, I'd say God and yeah. I'll also say God, but that uh, spending time with family does help you emotionally and uh, physically. And we are like well being, so. Good name. Uh, let's go with tough topics. How often do you feel lonely? Um, at least once a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, usually it's about, not most of the time on weekdays, mainly on the weekends when I'm just playing for till 4 a.m. and then all my friends get off, I really feel lonely. I would say I really never feel lonely, you know, because I just don't feel lonely. Only after I've been playing for it. Uh, personal well-being again. Again, all right. What activity makes you lose track of time? I would say basketball because I really like basketball and I feel like once I'm playing it for so long then I just lose track of time and time flies. Basketball and Fortnite. Um, pretty much any sport that I play makes me feel like time flies.
future. What traditions do you want to continue when you're older? Um, taking my family out to hunt in West River, South Dakota. I would say, I'm not really sure if hunting is a tradition, but I definitely don't want them to stop hunting once I'm an adult. Or I, I don't want to stop hunting when I'm adult. And I would also say family um, events, I guess, or holidays. In Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say going to the state bees every single year because my family always kind of goes down there and watches all the games. So that's always a good time, and I just really enjoy that. Let's go fun. Yeah, give us a fun one. What is a hobby that you've always wanted to try? I don't know. I got one. Sewing and knitting. Sewing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, actually. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. Some team sports. I. <laughs> Let's go another one. A lacrosse. That one was kind of a weird question. Oh, which famous celebrity would you like to meet? Dwayne Johnson. Uh, I would have to say probably like Tom Brady or like LeBron or Michael Jordan, like those big famous uh, sports players, because I'd just like to meet them. Yes. I would say Steph Curry. Ninja, <laughs> and you know I want to meet a uh, like music artist like Juice World, Drake. Me, <laughs> That's about it. Donald Mustard. Donald Mustard. Who's that? The guy who owns Fortnite. Alright, let's end with uh, one more funny one. If this one isn't funny, we're not going to end. They're not funny, but just, you know, fun one. Oh, this is a fun one. <clears throat> if you could plan a trip anywhere, where would you go and what would you do there? Uh, I'll go, I don't know, because I'll just go somewhere else right now. Two answers for this one. Wherever Fortnite is made. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, I would want to test out new Fortnite. Emotes. And Arctica, leave my kids there. And then for the last one, I would like to go to probably like Hawaii and swim with dolphins. I would also say Hawaii and just go and hang out and maybe maybe Florida too because I mean I've been there and it's a great time and just hang out on the beach and. You know, stay in a resort or something. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty pug champ. Anything else we want to talk about? Uh, I would like to go to Brazil and hang out it by the rainforest and see that stuff. You got a problem with Brazil? <laughs> Brazil, <bro>. Brazil. <laughs> you don't go somewhere in Brazil. Two more things. Have a good day. Free Devin e Nander. <laughs> and play Fortnite. And... Don't stop cranking for it. <laughs>